Okay, so right now I've got my $9 chip computer hooked up to my TV using the HDMI module. Uh, and we've already, in the last video, after our first boot, got, uh, you know, made sure our keyboard was working. And then we also um, went into the mouse, the accessibility settings, and clicked to use the number pad on the keyboard as a mouse, because in my case I didn't have a wireless mouse. There is Bluetooth built into this board, and I do have a Bluetooth keyboard as well, uh, which I'll probably end up using, uh, but I don't have a Bluetooth mouse that I know of. So, anyway, right now I'm limited to just keyboard stuff, which is fine, but what I want to do today is see what this can do media-wise. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to download and play an MP3, uh, and see how that sounds, and then we'll download some videos from YouTube and see how those play. Uh, so, let's get to it. Okay, so in the last video, uh, we did set up a uh, hook to the Wi-Fi network here at home. Uh, so now, I already checked in the last video, I know my IP address, so I can just use SSH, and the username will be chip at 192.168.1.114. In my case, of course, that IP address will be changed on your system depending on what your router assigns it. So go ahead and hit enter. The first time it's going to say, are you sure you want to uh, accept these keys, blah, 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 yes. And then the default password is chip. And now I am logged in. By default on this system, mPlayer is already installed, which is a great uh, video and music player. Um, but we're going to have to um, load up some music, so let me go ahead and get an MP3 for us to play. Okay, here we go. M player, the MP3 file, it says it's playing nothing. So what's going on here? Let's control C to quit out of that. Let's type ALSA mixer, and you can see got some things here, some things are muted, but I can tell you, you can unmute all those things, and if I hit F6, you can see we only have one audio device. Why is that? Well, I just Googled it, and turns out the HDMI board doesn't support audio out, which is extremely disappointing, uh, if you ask me. Um, you can still get audio out if you have separate speakers, uh, which, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it'd be nice if you could just plug this in and get the audio going through just like you do on a Raspberry Pi. So that's a little disappointing, um, but let's go ahead and before we try that, let's just, while we have the HDMI board connected, uh, go ahead and hook up something to play audio through the audio jack. Okay, so I went out to my garage and I got these old speakers from an old computer that I've probably had since the 90s sitting out there, Polk Audio. Uh, there's no external power, so they're being power, going to be powered through the, uh, the audio jack on the device, so I'm not expecting a lot of sound out of these. Obviously, if you get speakers with external power, you should probably get better sound. I just want to make sure that when I have the HDMI board hooked up, I can get audio out of speakers uh, so that I can hear a video, because if you can't, that's then it's completely useless. I'm pretty sure you can. Seems like you can for me online. Um, so let's go ahead and plug this in. So grab this. The audio jack is uh, right next to the USB plugs, right between them. And actually, uh, this plug is so big, and there's such little space on here. I can't. I can't fit it in there with the USB dongle and the power cable in there at the same time. So I'm going to unplug my USB keyboard dongle since I don't really need it right now. And I'll plug in the speakers. And I'll go ahead and set them on the shelf here. And we'll go ahead and issue that M player command again with the MP3. So here we go, we're gonna issue that MP3, uh, the M player command again. And um, just so you know, uh, let's actually first, let's go into ALSA mixer again and make sure, yeah, make sure the audio is up all the way for this. So I'm just gonna scroll over to this one and hit the up arrows all the way up until it's in the red for this particular case. Then escape to get out of that. And then we will M player our music file and we'll even, uh, M player has its own separate volume, uh, which if you have a number pad, uh, the nine and the zero control that, zero is up. We're gonna put it up to 100% once we start playing. Loading, play.
Okay, so I hit Q to quit out of that. So there you go. That's the audio. I had the camera right in front of it, so you can hear it's not very loud. Then again, these are small speakers being powered right off the board. Um, again, if you had uh, external speakers with um, uh, with a external power supply uh, to amp that sound up, you could definitely get more sound. But the important part is here is to realize that you're not going to get sound out of HDMI, so you're going to need separate speakers. But you can do it. All you have to do is plug in some sort of speakers. Um, so that's it for um, this audio section here. In the next video, we'll start to look at playing video and how well this little $9 computer plays video. And um, I just want to say, you know, th this, these videos are mainly to, to help you with the first few days as I go through and learn the ins and outs of this chip computer and what it can and can't do. I want to give you guys a good idea of what it can and can't do before you buy one. And if you have one, you know, help you get through these little stumbling blocks. Uh, that I've come across with. I've only been playing with this thing for a day now, and um, I think it's great. You know, uh, for nine dollars, it is amazing. Uh, there are a few things about it that um, you know you have to work around, which I will talk about more in future videos. Uh, but definitely can play video, have the HDMI output. But let's see in the next video how well it can play video files. As always, I thank you for watching, uh, and. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe. Uh, this is a new channel for me. You know, new subscribers would be great. If you enjoy my videos on this channel or my other channel, uh, be sure to check out my main channel. Be sure to go to my Patreon site, uh, patreon.com forward slash mailx1000, where you can help support my videos. If you like these videos, again, be sure to check out my other channel. But if you go to filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K, and there should be a link in the description of this video, you should be able to search through all my videos from both my channels. Uh, there's also an RSS feed there where you can keep up to date on stuff. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.